Hello my friends, welcome to part 61 of my Horizon Zero Dawn full blind playthrough on the PlayStation 5. We are playing on ultra hard difficulty and guys, I'm very happy to say we are now starting the Frozen Wilds. <laughs> Yay! So that's the DLC for Horizon Zero Dawn. Uh, last episode we actually finished up, I think it was called... Oh, damn it, my memory's so bad. <laughs> One sec. I don't remember what it was called, guys. The mountain that fell. Ah, oh, tragic. And I really hate Ted Farrow. Oh, I hate him so much, guys. What an idiot. Um. Anyway, anyway. Now, here's what's going to happen moving forwards, guys. I'm treating Horizon um, The Frozen Wilds like it's a big side quest. Now, from what you guys have been telling me in the comments, well, a couple of you anyway, as long as I don't speak to Avad in The Looming Shadow, we're good to do all of the side quests, bandit camps, um, you know, find as many data points as I can, and of course finish the Frozen Wilds. So that's what we're going to do, guys. I'm going to go into Frozen Wilds, do a couple of quests there, and then suddenly, um, I don't know, part 62 or 63, it might be a side quest in the base game. Because there's still quite a lot. And look at this, guys. We've got a ton of bandit camps to get through as well. I've got a ton of collectibles like vantage points and everything. So intermittently, I'm going to be coming back to the main game to finish it up, really. So I hope that's okay with you guys. It's a little bit uh, different. Like, I'm not doing um, completing the, f the full game first. I just want to do like frozen wild sometimes and then jump back into the base game and also guys i want to show you something as well i found this when i was farming oh in fact about that check this out guys all my carry capacity is now done <laughs> it's all done and the thing that really messed me up was actually goose skin i just couldn't find it guys i couldn't find the goose or geese and when I did find them, I would never get a skin. And it took me like 45 minutes to, to complete. I think it was this, the Tear Blaster ammo pouch. I've also cleared a lot of stuff in my inventory. Like I sold a lot of bones and skins and stuff like that. I'm going to hold on to some of these hearts in case I need them in Frozen Wilds. And what I wanted to show you... Guys, you can skip ahead. If you don't want to see this, you don't have to uh, sit through this if you don't want to. But I'm interested as it is... You know, all brand new to me. Now, what is it? I think it's a world text. Give me a second. And check this out, guys. Look, all the Frozen Wilds audio um, and Frozen Wilds worlds and Frozen Wilds quest. So we've got all these data points to collect for that as well. So that's quite exciting. All right, here we go. So <laughs> I've got a lot to go. I I'm not even sure if I'm going to actually complete all of these, but... We'll try, we'll try. Okay, this is the new one I found. This is when I was out farming near the Devil's Grief, I think it's called. Idiot Army. All right, personal log, user 89865441. I'm not sure what I expected being part of a hacker collective to be like exactly, but so far the whole Idiot Army thing has been anticlimactic. Turns out being a world-renowned cyber threat mostly consists of hanging out in intentionally tacky-looking hollow spaces with dudes in anonymizing skins. I don't know, I've never heard of a word like that. Um, most of which are, like, meme-based. Like, there's a dude, or maybe a few dudes, with a skin modelled after that incredulous pigeon reaction hollow. Couple guys who are literally just walking cap Capoc trees? Ask someone what's what the next big operation would be. I even had suggestions. Doxing Far Zenith? Uh, Fitzing corporate warbots? Come on. <laughs> and he called me a turd baron. <laughs> a turd baron, guys. As though data corrupted. So that, that ends it. A turd baron. That's what Ted Farrow is. He's a turd baron. All right, guys, so let's make a move. And this, I'm really excited, man. I, I've heard that there's some really amazing fights in this. It's going to be super difficult, especially on Ultra Hard. Actually, let me just check. I am in Ultra Hard. I am, am good. When I make purchases, I always put it, you know, put the difficulty low so I don't pay new game plus prices. All right, so. 
what follow these lights i guess i'm an idiot well, i need to actually select this uh it's a side quest isn't it oh gosh i'm nervous man <laughs> i'm nervous and look we still got some of the horus um remains here as well which is crazy down below is where we did the grave hoard oh check it out supplies all right awesome now what i thought that was a save point it's not okay there's a light there but where's the climbable is it here Sorry, guys. I don't know what's happening. Where's... Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Nope. That's not what? Oh, my God, guys. Sorry. Give me a sec. I'm so sorry about this. Is it this? Oh, come on, man. Really? Guys, I'm blind. It's here. I didn't see this. What do you do with Eloy? This path leads to the cut. The Banuke have nothing to offer besides useless mysticism. The Eclipse won't stand idle while you waste time playing in the snow. Return to your task. Surprised you're still checking up on me. I thought you had moved on. Well, forgive me for still being concerned with the fate of the world. I was thinking, Banuke shamans thread blue cables through their skin, right? Kind of like someone else we know, huh? So maybe the real reason you want me to stay clear of the Banuke is to stay clear of your past. It's not the past that concerns me, Eloy. It's the future, or possible lack thereof. Which is why you should stop prattling and get back to what matters. But as usual, you'll do as you wish. Hmm. Touchy. <laughs> no love lost there, guys. Um, I didn't expect to hear from Silence. I thought he was gone, you know? I thought he'd, he'd be gone from the game by now. Well, it's good to hear him. It's good to hear him again. Um, yeah, I didn't expect that at all. So, hold on, guys. Hold on. Um, Silence is Banuke. I, I didn't know that. I really didn't. I thought, I know he said he was um, part of a tribe and he's always been independent. But I had no idea he was actually Banuke. All right. Anyway, let's go up here. Oh, this is exciting, guys. <laughs> yes. All right, I love that. I never get bored of that animation. It's so cool. All right, do I jump down here? All right, it's getting darker. Okay, up here. Where are we, by the way? Oh, jeez, we've got a long way to go. Oh, wow. <laughs> All right, what's this? Okay, resist fire. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the hell? Whoa. I see the heat coming off it. A new predator, guys. Check it out. Okay, what is this? Wait, this ain't it. A daemonic machine. Okay, daemonic machines are more powerful and have stronger elemental resistances than their normal counterparts. They are a force to be reckoned with. Oh my god. Okay, strength, shock. So we can't shock them. And what does the corruption thing mean? Perhaps I can't use shock and corruption on them. Is that correct? Anyway, I need to do this again because... um. That's explaining daemonic. So is that the new corruption? Is that what that is? Oh, look at that, guys. Okay, check it out. So we got more machines to discover. That is exciting. All right, here we go. Eps there is another cauldron. Epsilon overrides. Um, okay, it's called a scorcher. <laughs> Whoa, guys, it looks kind of like a wolf. It is a wolf. I'll, I'll say it's a wolf. Okay. A very agile and dangerous combat machine with a fire augmented melee attacks. 
and a mounted mine launcher for ranged engagement. What? Okay. All right, body, hard out casing. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. All right, weakness, freeze, and strength, fire. So I'm going to slip into my fire um, outfit. All right, blaze canister, storage, blah, blah, blah. Shoot, this, shoot off this component to collect resource. Shooting elemental canisters with elemental... Out Okay, okay, we'll trigger an explosion, whatever. Mine launcher. I want to try this, guys. And what's this? Power generator. That's on the back. Okay. Spark a resource can be looted. Destroying this command will trigger an explosion. Electrifying anything in the area. That sounds... That sounds good. We want to do that, right? Okay. All right. So... <laughs> I'm nervous, but I'm excited as well. All right, guys. Car just silks. No, that's not it. What am I doing? It's this one. And what have I got in terms of weapons? No, don't go for Jesus. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, we need to ice it, right? Okay, everything's full. I've got these in case I need them. All right, what's this path? Helps to be prepared. Oh, you see me? Shit! No, no, no! <laughs> damn it! Damn it, guys! <laughs> I thought he was up there. God damn it! All right, I'm gonna triple up a shot. Let's try and, guys, you can see the heat off him. Oh, he looks so awesome! <laughs> he looks badass! Oh, crap! Oh, no, he turned! Instantly turned, guys! Damn, I was trying to get that... Wait, 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 maybe now. You bastard, I can't, I can't believe this. Wow. Guys, he's so intimidating. All right, all right, it's on now. I flopped. Whoa, okay, what's that? Shit! Oh, God. Okay. All right, here we go. I don't want to underestimate him. Oh, my God. God, it's the damage. Whoa. Okay, no, don't get stuck, Aloy, please. Should I go for the blaze canister, perhaps? Wow. All right. Okay, let's try and ice him, guys. Guys, his melee does a ton of damage, though. Okay, here we go. Come on, come on. Let's go, let's go. All right, Aloy, please. Hurry, please. Oh. Oh, okay. That wasn't too bad, guys. Uh, hey, look, I'm not going to underestimate him. He did a ton of damage, and he does, like, swipes and... AOE attacks. However, did you notice when I did get caught in his fire, I didn't really take damage. It's really his melee that was kicking my ass, but that was sick. Oh, what a, an amazing machine. Wow. All right, nice. So, anyway, <laughs> that's our first enemy in Frozen Wilds. Let me just have a look around real quick. What's that? Supply crates. Okay, let's grab that. All right, cool. What's this? Oh, okay. I don't need that. All right, guys. That was fun. <laughs> Very scary, though. I'm not going to lie to you, but that was a lot of fun. Okay, so we just need to go up here, I guess. All right, are there any more enemies? Uh, 
Okay. Right, let's grab this. Stocking up. You know what? Should I use a freeze? Uh, not freeze. Um, a fire. Resist fire potion as well. Okay, is it this this way? Oh, what's that? What the hell, guys? Okay, that's a welcome, I guess. It's that dude there. All right, good. So, as long as it's not another scorch, <laughs> I need to actually get into the DLC first. Well, hey, look, we handled it, but um. Oh, guys, check it out, Frozen Wilds. <laughs> oh, that's so sick. Okay, I'm really excited, man. I'm gonna switch. Sorry, not that. I want to switch out Aloy's outfit though to this because it looks so good. Guys, my apologies. I didn't read out the freaking quest. Sorry. Aloy travels in, into the fro uh, frozen wilds. Aloy travels north to the Banuke lands known as the Cut. Explore the Cut. Rumors are spreading of strange events in the Cut. Banuke lands found north of the Gravehold. All right, cool. That's it. Ha. You sure you'll be warm enough up here, Nora? I've worked up a sweat from the climb. All right. Seem friendly. I think we're here, guys. You made it to the cut, Outlander. Not that you'll stay long. All right, let's talk to him. This is Song's Edge, biggest settlement in the cut. That's it. <laughs> All right, is there anything to collect? Right, there's more people down there. I'll tell you what. Uh, whoa, what is that? What in the hell? What is that, guys? That's a volcano, right? Oh wow, that's a that's beautifully animated. That looks incredible. Oh, anyway, let's. Uh, rising from the mountain and the village too. What's it for? Okay, I was gonna say I'll do all the looting afterwards. Let's just go and speak to some people. Young hunters have learned a lesson from Thunderstrom. Sometimes, loss is the price of survival. All right. And I will stand with him. I do not think that our hunter's blood is on Aratak's hands. He led them to a great challenge. That is all. Guys, I can't go over this. It's so sick. All right. Anyway, let's keep going. Must be something big going on. Most of the village is moving towards that smoke. Our attack mourns our hunters' deaths, just as we do. All right. Let's do a quick save. Trust Araya, they say. She'll return to us, they say. And yet here we are, waiting. In times like these, we must not forget. Get ready for a rare sight, Nora. Bergrin, purveyor of necessities. Most of the time, the Banuk burn their dead. But not today. Because the bodies couldn't be recovered. Aye, a nasty business. All their best warriors lost. So they're getting a different kind of send off.
Oh, wow. <laughs> Grasp your grief, my hunters, and kill it! For our kin sees the fate all Banuk long for. Falling with their spears striking steel. Their struggle is over now. You have witnessed their spirits rise up into the blue sky and beyond to the blue light. But our struggle is only beginning. Soon, we will again take up the hunt against the daemon that frenzies the machines against us. And so I ask you, can you summon the courage of our fallen kin? Will you fight and die as well as they did? My courage, my spear! In your teeth, Oratok! We are Banuk. Our enemies. Our prey. Guys, I'm so freaking hyped. <laughs> that frenzies the machines. Machines that wipe out their best. And what do they want to do? Go back up there. Fools. A little advice. Uh, for free. Uh... Aloy. Aloy. I've been up here for two long winters, and I still can't make sense of the Banuk. Take this ruckus. It started with one of their shamans, uh, Orea, spouting on about spirits and demons up on Thunder's Drum. So they march their Warwick up there, and half of them get slaughtered by machines. When Aria vanished, I thought the crazy might have gone with her. But no. Here's Big Aritok, gearing them up to do it all over again. Oh, Silence. Okay. Have you ever heard of a man named Silence? Tall, deadly serious, cables in his skin? Like a shaman? Uh, I've heard that name once or twice, but always whispered. Like some boogeyman the Banuk want to forget. I'm not sure what went down, but I got the impression he messed with the Conclave. Or they messed with him. Conclave? All the most important shamans gather in Banur from time to time to keep up with the latest mumbo-jumbo. No idea how they all fit into one tent without those crazy headdresses getting locked up on each other. Aurea's been to that shindig, but when I asked her what it's like, she just gave me a dirty look. So if you want to know more, you'll have to find her and make her like you, I guess. <laughs> Good luck. What is it about the Banuk you can't make sense of? Hmm. Well, everything's a test to them. A hardship to endure. A challenge to survive. Seems like they don't have much of a choice in a place like this. Yeah. A land cold enough to crack teeth, filled with wild animals, you think they'd accept a little reasonably priced aid? Well, believe me, I've tried to convince them, but a Banuk with nothing left to prove might just lie down and die. And Orea is the one who spoke about this daemon? That's right. Told Aratok and the others that it lives up on Thunder's Drum, and they believed it. But you don't. <laughs> Look, I don't know what Orea found up there. A shaman's not gonna talk to an outlander. The machines in the cut are getting more vicious, that's a fact. It could be because of the daemon, or it could be because they all got indigestion, for all I know. But Araya's not around to explain. She took off, and no one knows why. You see, I want to get to the bottom of how, why there are brand new machines in this particular area. Why, why here? Anyway, Aratak? Is Aratak a renowned warrior around here? He's a Warwick chieftain, 
His voice carries a lot of respect. Not that you hear much of it. Man talks about as much as a dead fish. But when he and Aurea came to town with their Warwick, it drew more Banuk to this little burg than I'd ever seen. You know what else I saw, Aloy? My own little trade route, stretching all the way back to the claim. Then he goes and leads them off to their death at the claws of angry machines. So much for my best customers. Oh, <laughs> gosh, that's so weird. I was actually going to ask, what is a Warak? I guess that's a tribe, isn't it? What are these Wereks about, Burgrind? Some sort of tribe within the tribe? Eh, not like our clans back home. You don't get born into these things. They hold tryouts. Prove your best at something, and you might get a place. Some Wereks come and go. Some last as long as men. The whole Banuk territory, Banur, is just a bunch of the biggest, oldest Wereks. I'm not sure if I'm less confused or more confused. <laughs> well, here's the sure thing. Each Warwick has a chieftain and a shaman. They make the decisions. All well and good, except the chieftains are hard-headed, and the shamans have their heads in the clouds. Uh, guys, just one quick observation. Um, I know it's very early. I need to see the rest of the, the DLC. But it seems to me that the animations and the capture mo motion capture seems to be a little bit more improved. I don't know if maybe I'm just seeing things, but it looks really good. You said you've lived out here for two winters? Aye. Uh, back home, some fur traders told me about this steel forsaken heap of tents. Good location, ripe for change. We were barely scraping by until this place started filling up for Araya. A great prophet is coming, they said. Oh, I heard prophet. Honest mistake. Not that the Banook are stingy, they just prefer to keep trade among themselves. We could get through to enough of them. We could really put this place on the map. Or at least on a map. Who's we? We? Me and my daughter. Mm, my daughter? Assistant. Varja. My assistant and my daughter. We seem to get along better as business partners. Her mother wanted me to show her a trade. She started tinkering with weapons. Say, when you need a break from this Banuk carry-on, stop in and see her. You're both, uh... Mm, how do I put it? Uh, Women? No, 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 no. I independent. <laughs> Long Notch. The easternmost Banuk camp. All right. I want to know more about this daemon. Mm -mm. It's crazy talk, Aloy. Or there's something to it. Something connected to how the machines behave. Then you need to find Aurea. She was last seen headed for the mountains they call the Ice Rests. I've heard only the shamans know the trail beyond those frozen peaks. Mm. But I do know where you could find her apprentice, Naltuk. He went north of the river, chasing rumors. Rumors? Not the good kind. Sudden attacks in the snow. Strange new structures. Some say a new machine, like no one seen before. Well, now I'm definitely interested. Thanks for the talk, Burgrind. Don't mention it. I wonder if our talk can tell me more from about Araya or Thunder's drum. But whenever I see the Might be worth a shot. Ice, I feel like right, new side quest, The Shaman's Path. All right, guys. Okay, we're going to leave it here. So this is our first introduction into the DLC. The next episode we'll do the Shaman's Path quest, I guess. I can see already there's going to be a side quest there. Let's see if any merchants have opened up. <gasps> What's that? Why is he blue? We'll have a look. Actually, I'll tell you what. Let's have a look at that, guys, and then we'll we'll finish up. Why are you blue? <laughs> come on, come on. What's this? But new champion bow. Okay, right. Keep the bowstring drawn to or drawn on this specialized war bow to charge up more powerful shots. I don't actually know what that means. What the hell are blue gleams? All right, what's this? Power shot bow, as in? Oh, I get it. This is um, 
like precision arrows, etc. Keep the bowstring drawn and you get more powerful shots. Am I right in assuming you hold the... I don't know. <laughs> Guys, we just need blue gleam now. I really want it. Oh, we can get this one. Okay. I'm assuming these are going to be better, right? And what about outfits? Come on, gimme, gimme. What's this? Banuke Ice Hunter Master. <gasps> Six Guys, 60 ice protection. Right, cured hide and fur, interwoven with machine plates, protect the wearer from freeze damage, typical wear for the unforgiving north, 14 blue gleam, god damn it. <laughs> oh, you're kidding, guys, Karja Blazon Master. What's this? Sorry, Banik Werak Runner, insulated and treated with medicinal oils. Guys, I can't believe this. I sold all my all my desert glass because it was just sitting in my inventory. Now I need it. <laughs> That's so typical, isn't it? Anyway, um, so this gear, this survivalist gear, provides slow health regen. Over time. That's sick, guys. I want to get that. Wait, wait, what's this? <laughs> yes, guys, I need to get these. Wait, this is 30 stealth. All right, what's the difference between the one I've... Okay, I'm not going to sell it, obviously, but just want to have a look at the stats. Oh, but it's got um, mods in there, so I need to take those out. We'll do it in the next episode, guys. Look, I'm really excited. I can't wait to see what the rest of this DLC has to offer, but already it's looking badass. I mean, look at, look at that. <laughs> Fascinating. Um, all right, we'll, we'll see you next episode, guys. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed yourselves. Thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Take care.